Hello friends, welcome back to another solution video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our RK Trivia Girls Week 1 First Lab Solution which is going to be Conversational Agent Managing Environment, okay? Uh, let's start the lab. It would be a very easy lab but a little bit lengthier because we have to do a lot of tasks manually. Just follow me and you will get the green tick in all the tasks. Wait for the lab to be loaded, then we will click on the Start Lab button. Wait for the credentials to be loaded up. Now right click upon open google cloud console and open it in incognito window make sure that you will be opening it in incognito window only okay now it will automatically sign you in click on i understand and you get logged in into the google cloud platform wait for the dashboard to be loaded up on the dashboard we have to accept a pop-up of terms and conditions so wait for that there it is Click on checkbox, click on agree and continue. Now what you have to do simply come back to the lab, scroll down to task number 1, right click upon conversational agents and open it in incognito window. It will open the conversational agent tab for us, so wait for the panel to be loaded. After that you simply need to come back to the lab and copy your project id. Okay, so click on this copy button to copy it, come back to here, paste it in the search project tab, click on all. Now you should see your project id click on this one click on new project it will open a new tab for you you can simply close this tab and come back to the previous one then you have to click on enable api click on enable let's this page be loaded you can simply cancel this and click on enable api again wait for it to get loaded and you can close this tab it will be working on this tab only so currently only two tabs are uh, open uh, one was for our dashboard and one was this one okay so wait for it to create the agent or set up the apis now here you have to click on create agent button click on build your own now you have to give the details for the agent so for that come back to the lab scroll down a little bit and you can get all the details here first of all copy the display name copy it very carefully make sure you don't copy any extra spacing paste it here now for the location you have to choose your given location in my case it's us central one but in your case it can be different so you have to select your given one so it's already selected for me us central one I scroll down click on the flow button and click on create i wait for it to get created wait for the panel to be loaded you can cut this simply now click on the setting tab on the top icon Click on the setting. Now scroll down a little bit, and from here you have to go to under the logging section settings, and you have to enable these two options. Okay, then click on the save button. Now once it's get saved, you can simply click on these drop down icon or the arrow icon. From here you have to click on restore agent. Okay, restore agent. Now from here click on upload button. Now you have to upload a file. Now which file? So you have to download a file from where you have to simply come back to the lab scroll down a little bit another task number two you will see this blue button or the highlighted uh, text as soon you click on this button it will start it to automatically download a file for you a file like gsp 929 start agent dot blog so it will automatically download this file for you once you download it simply come back to here and click on select file and upload that particular file select that and open it now once that file is uploaded you can click on the restore button now wait for the agent details to be restored now once it's successfully restored what you have to do simply uh, wait for the panel to be loaded first then you will proceed now hover upon this uh, session or the panel and click on versions from here Now from here click on the flows button and click on default start flow okay now click on create now for the version name you have to simply come back to here go to the task number four scroll down to the pointer number 17 you have to copy this one okay? copy it very carefully come back to here paste the name here and for the version description you simply have to type v1 and click on save wait for it to get saved and the similar manner you have to click on again create button you have to paste the same name just uh, change it to v2 same like, same thing would be happen here v2 now click on save button 
uh, make sure that uh, both uh, the chatbot should be visible here and now you have to refresh this page once click on refresh button we are refreshing it to check the status if they are ready to build or not or to deploy or not so that's why we refresh the page and you can see the version 1 is ready but version 2 is still in the progress so you have to wait for 1 to 2 minutes again refresh the page to make sure that the, both the versions should be ready once both are ready we will further proceed so we have to wait for it to get ready so let's wait for a couple of minutes so now both the versions are ready we can simply hover upon the panel and click on environments button open the environments tab and from here we have to click on create now for the display name you have to type QA and for the version you have to select the version 1 and click on save button wait for it to get saved now again click on the create button and now this time the display name would be DEV DAV and the version would be second one version 2 click on save button now both the versions are uh, environment versions are ready for you now simply from the above navigation bar click on this chat button or the toggle simulator click on this click on environment if it's only showing you the draft option then you have to refresh this page again because we just created new environments the QA and the dev they should be visible here again click on the dra draft button now we are able to see the dev and QA so first of all select the dev one come back to the lab go to the task number fifth and uh, here you will see uh, agent Task number five. yes it's here in the pointer number four on the task number fifth you have to select this much prompt i want to book a flight you have to copy it very carefully make sure you don't copy the apostrophe yes okay just copy the text come back to here uh, for the yes rest of the changes will be same just uh, for the environment select the dev paste the text here click on next this send button you should re receive a response if you are receiving a response it means all the things are working pro uh, pro properly now click on this reload button now this time select the QA again uh, paste the same prompt click on this button you should receive another response it means we have done with this now we can start the, to get the green tick for all the check my progress button one by one click on the task number one starting from the task number one we will get the green tick for all the tasks click on check my progress you will get the green tick here Wait for a couple of seconds get the green tick assessment completed now scroll down click on this check my progress button you will get the green tick here as well assessment completed same for this click on check my progress you will get the green tick in this task as well assessment completed now scroll down further keep scrolling click on this check my progress you'll get the green tick here scroll down keep scrolling click on this you get the green tick for all the tasks you can skip this it's all totally optional scroll down scrolling yes we get the green tick for all the check my progress button it means our lab is completed we don't need to submit these answers our lab is completed congratulations you can click on the add lab button click on add lab button once again give the star rating that you want to give click on submit now come back to main page to verify whether we actually get the green tick in lab or not lab may green tick mila and check kar lete so scroll down open the module and you will see that we get the green tick beside our lab it means we successfully completed this lab so if you like the video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box or on the whatsapp group thank you very much good bye